Breaking news just took place last night. We do have the first Cat20 AMM swap, which is created by the DotSwap team. I'm going to show you guys exactly how you could trade your Cat20 tokens on DotSwap's platform right now. Francis Dune Uncensored. Welcome back to another video here at Francis Dune Uncensored, where we do have tomorrow's newspapers. Today, this is also called the Smart Money Channel. If you like positioning yourself ahead of the crowd for the next big thing in crypto, make sure you like, subscribe, and smash the bell notification button so you know when the next Alpha Packed content will be released, just like this one. Let's get on with the program. So last night, big freaking news, guys. This is what we were waiting for. We're waiting for the first AMM swap. And here it is. So this came out uh, last night. Swap cat 20 in seconds on dot swap v1. Deposit auto merge and withdraw at any time on dot swap v1. Okay. Swap any amount of cat 20 at any time. Here's a link. You could also provide liquidity if you're into the whole LP fees and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you click this link, it'll take you to this page. Well, it'll take you directly to the swap. Okay. But what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to show you guys how to do this if you were to just go to dot swap dot app. So first things first, make sure you signed into your Unisat wallet, okay? And you have the Fractal Bitcoin mainnet network um, synced in, okay? Make sure you either have, well, make sure you have FB here, okay? There's other options. You could use Bitcoin or FB and even CAT. So if you want to sell CAT for BTC, you could do that. If you want to buy CAT with BTC, you could do that. If you want to buy CAT with FB, you could do that. In this particular example, I would be using Fractal Bitcoin to purchase CAT on this platform. And I also want to let you guys know, this is the V1, so it is centralized, but there's no other, like, there's no decentralized option out there right now. Over time, I would believe DotSwap would evolve to maybe a V5 or a 4 or something where things will be a heck of a lot more decentralized, okay, guys? So, once you've done all those things and you got FB in your wallet, in this particular example, like myself... You then need to connect your um, wallet to the website like this. And there we go. So there's my wallet, ends in PHNV. There's my wallet, ends in PHNV. And it changes my wallet to back to the Bitcoin mainnet. So I'm going to go like this. And we are in business. From here, guys, you need to click the swap button. Okay. And then I'll take you to this page. Now, here are the various tabs, runes, BRC20, ARC, and Fractal. So we're dealing with Fractal. Let's go there. And lo and behold, right in front of you, you'll see Bitcoin. You'll see FB. So as I alluded to, I want to actually trade some FB for that. Okay, so what I would do is, since FB is at the bottom here, I will just inverse the two like that. FB populates. And then it should tell me right here how much I actually have in my wallet, which it does. Awesome. So that's 42 units that I have right here, which is verifiable. And then I obviously want some cat. Well, at least I do. I don't know what you guys want, but that's what I want. But as you can see, there is a deposit button. So I must first deposit my FB into the platform. So let's do that. And here we go. It tells us a step by step. So step one, transfer tokens and Bitcoin from wallet to dot swap account. Step two, quickly swap using dot swap account. Balance. Step three, add liquidity if these are the things you are into. So I shall go deposit. Fractal, Fractal Bitcoin, 42. I mean, I'll put in, I don't know, let's do uh, five units. I'll, I'll do so right there, 2,564. I'll just, you know, you don't have to do this. I'm doing this for the purpose of the video, just in case if there's a hot mint and I get screwed. So pay with wallet. And there we go. It's deducting five from my Web3 wallet that's in my possession going on to the dot swap platform so I could. Go ahead with this trade. Okay, guys. As they tell us right here, submission successful, submission successful, awaiting 60 confirmations. Now, I spoke with some people and they did tell me that how it's not going to take 30 minutes. Maybe it does for you, but it should be shorter. So let's wait for that to confirm. Once my FB is on the platform, I could then conduct my trade for CAT. So here we are in the mempool. It currently says four confirmations according to DotSwap's platform. It did tell us 60. I could click this and... Um, see we are here so one two three four that is indeed correct let's wait until this is completed where we should see right here well here's updated my wallet balance is updated but the amount deposited should reflect very shortly we're at 15 confirmations let's revisit the twitter post 
And there's more information in there. So Cat20 swaps tips. Supported pairs FB and Cat. Great. FB and even F Bull. Supported address is only Taproot, guys. Okay. BC1P. Okay. Make sure you have that. Supported wallet Unisat. Depositing will automatically merge some of your Cat20 based on the deposit amount. Additional network fees may apply when depositing depending on the number of Cat20 UTXOs. Be sure to check before signing. Deposits require 30 confirmations. Withdrawals are almost instant with only one confirmation. Withdrawals may not result in a single Cat20 UTXO. You might need to merge them yourself. If you're experiencing any issues, head on over to their Discord. Okay, guys? So I believe what they're trying to explain to us there is if you were trying to now deposit Cat, okay, when you get to the final step in your Unisat wallet to sign off transactions, you will have multiple batches to sign off, right? So units of five. As you know, the max limit was five. So when you get to that endpoint, you'll see sign here, some 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 t transaction IDs, then sign, you know, some information, then sign, depending on how much you're, you're sending in. So if you were to send, say, 20 units of CAT to their platform to deposit because you wanted to sell or whatever the heck you want to do, um, you will have to sign that off four times, because five times four is 20, okay? So just sign, 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 and then your deposit should display. So I'm at block 36 out of 60, and it appears that how my balance is reflected now in the DotSwap account. I also want to show you something else over here. If you click down here on your Web3 wallet and go to View Account, there's another sort of like dashboard here that shows you other different metrics. So right here, it shows my BTC, which is none. I've never deposited BTC. And right here, it's like a dashboard that shows you everything. So five fractal Bitcoin successfully arrived. Um, available balance five, total balance five, deposit, withdraw, swap, and liquidity, okay? So let's ah, let's just click the swap button, and there we go. So I have FB right here, and I want to swap it for cat, okay? I'm going to go max and see how that works. So it says five, you know what? Let's just go um. 4.5 okay i'll just do that so 4.5 will get me 49.4 cat let's go ahead and initiate this swap so swap their warning due to protocol restrictions cat 20 tokens can only be withdrawn to addresses starting with bc1p guys please be aware i've always been training you to use a taproot wallet address and only a taproot wallet address that's for good practice make sure you're using that okay which we are we're gonna sign that out um sign that out and let's see what it says here. And there we go. Submission successful. Okay, so let's head on over to our account. And let's see what it says. And remind you, right, guys, this is the centralized approach right here. But again, there's no decentralized um, options out there. And if there's anybody who could pull it off, it's going to be dot .swap. So we got a V1. I see a V3. You know, maybe there's a V4, 5, and 6. And then we get there. So, you know, rest assured, um, they will evolve to that, right? So there we have it, 49.44 units. I want to withdraw this. So let's go withdraw. Okay, yeah. Token. Okay, yeah. Cat. <laughs> right? All. I want all out. And as you can see, withdrawal address is indeed the one they, they suggested. BC1P. And that is this one right here, okay? That I'm using that ends in PHNV. PHNV. I'm going to jack this up. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just used to jacking up gas. Okay? Okay, it says confirm your withdrawal, right? This is my, you know, my um, deposit and withdrawal history. Let's carry on. And this goes back to what I was trying to explain to you with the various different batches, okay? In this instance, I have two transactions or two batches of CAT, okay? Let's view. We're going to sign this one. See, signed. Let's view and sign this. This is very similar to how the Sat Hunter inscription tool does it, okay? Okay, so submit. And there we go. It says 30 minutes. It should it should approximately take and land in my wallet address over here. Okay, which once it, it, it lands here, I could scan my wallet in a Cat20 wallet reflector, which we'll do shortly. So now when I go on back over to view account, we can see my cat has been taken out. And it appears that the withdrawals are much, much faster as they explained here, withdrawals are almost instant with only one confirmation. Withdrawals may not result in a single um, CAT20 UTXO. 
So in my back office, it says my cat's taken out. But as you guys know right now, currently there's no support, as you can see, for Cat 20. One would imagine that will be there within the, the coming days. So how do we do this? You can go to an option like a BTC terminal. And when you click on the Fractal Explorer, it'll take you to this section, which then you need to then put your wallet address in here that you use to either mint Cat 20 or in this instance, swap for it for Cat tokens. Then when you scroll down further, it will tell you how much you have, which is 49.44, which is the same exact balance I just transacted over here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and there you have it. That's how you use cat swap, which is dot swaps, AMM swap to get you cat 20 tokens. Yes, as I said, it is um, centralized at the moment, but there's no other decentralized options out there. I personally rather use these guys than some sex, right? Like CoinX, right? It's more convenient and it's right here. So guys, we are proliferating. I'm sure there's going to be more development to don't, um, you know, sleep on SAS pump fun. That's the big one. That's going to trigger everything here in the fractal Bitcoin ecosystem along with, um, this Dex over here. So you could trade. So that's all I got for y'all. I hope this video makes sense. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So until the next one, you're on your own, bro. Later.